The city council voted unanimously to commit $15 million in economic development incentives to keep the Western and Southern open put in Mason. Now, this story has been a huge talker for months now. The Western Southern Open has been a staple in Mason for years, but last August, Beaumont Capital bought the tournament from the U.S. Tennis Association and exploring the possibility of moving the tournament to Charlotte. Kendall Hyde has more on today's update. The Western and Southern Open is one of the nine most prominent tennis events in the entire world and even attracts some of the biggest names in the sport while bringing millions for the city of Mason. In last August, Beaumont Capital, a company owned by Ben Navarro, a South Carolina billionaire, purchased the tournament from the United States Tennis Association. And in May, reports of a deal to add a $400 million tennis complex in Charlotte surfaced as parts of a potential plan to move the tournament. Beaumont Capital's chief operating officer, Fort Perry, attended Monday's meeting of the Mason City Council virtually after testing positive for COVID-19. Perry spoke about BMOC's plan to expand the tournament into a two-week event starting in 2025, telling Mason City leaders that expansion would mean turning the Littner Family Tennis Center into a larger complex, including more player facilities like locker rooms and massage areas, and expanding from 16 to 30 courts. City Council listened to Perry's vision and voted unanimously to add $15 million in economic development incentives to help keep the Western and Southern open here in Mason. I mean, we've been working collaboratively with, um, as we said, the regional and county and also state leaders to try to come up with what we are calling like a third of the 150 million that BMONC would like to initially uh, have for expansion. Annually, the tournament brings in anywhere between 60 to $80 million. And with a new two-week format potentially coming in 2025, city leaders say that number will double. The consolidated volume across five to five to seven, 14 days um, with the extended tournament is, is just significant per day. So we're looking at about 150 to 170 million in 14 days. State reps spoke Monday and said they also will include an additional $25 million for the expansion of the Lindner Family Tennis Center and another billion dollar pot that can be used for additional projects if needed. And we're going to stay positive about that and, and think that, that it's going to stay here because that's what we want and that's what we're working really hard to make happen. So let's be optimistic and we're going to keep tennis here in the city of Mason.